This box is going to go somewhere right in here. There should be a foot in somewhere. There it is. Got some bricks stashed in this garage here. Sometimes you gotta put a little extra weight in the front. This mailbox here is going to be three brick by three brick. All right, now I like to hold my course here at 23 and a half to 24 inches. If you're using a different size brick, the rule of thumb is to take your fingertip here and place it in the brick, and that'll give you the approximate proper joint spacing. So we're sitting at 23 and three quarter. So I'm good with that. Now you want to level the face of or plumb. Sorry, plumb the face of your brick. And this is called straight edging. What I'm doing here. See all the imperfections against that level. This brick here that my thumb's hitting needs to come towards me. All these brick need to be sitting on this level, straight across, flush. Make sure it's square. Just like I showed you with the straight edge, you want all these brick touching.
at the point where the second course of block is going in and I just wanted to note you want to cross them you wouldn't want to stack them crossing them keeps them half bond and much stronger Alright, these are the cuts that I just made on the saw and then tomorrow I'm going to lay this and there will be some triangle cuts that have to go in right here. As I go up, I will fill in these voids here. If they're this small, you can just you're good to just throw mud in there all day, but if you have something like this, you want to put brick in here and keep it level because when you get up to the top to lay the uh the cap with solid brick, you want it to be level.
All right, here we are with the finished product. That looks pretty good.